Did you notice? Did you notice something different? The, the gray. The gray, notice, the gray color. Did you notice his, that? His uniform. I did. I did. What are you doing there? How you doing? How are you, sir? I'm looking for General Lee. General Lee's not here today. He's not here today? No. Oh, am I at the wrong encampment? Later in the afternoon, you don't get the... I suppose I would tolerate somebody hanging around, but I don't know. It's that he completed his speech. <laughs> Brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we do so. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. Brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above all of our power. The air will be trapped. The world will no longer remember what we say. But it must never forget what they did. It is for us, the living rather, to be here dedicated to the unfinished work. They who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. 